Hi guys and welcome back to Rick's Kits. Let's build a boat. Not just any boat. Let's build this boat. And this is Tamir's 135th patrol boat river piver. US Navy PBR 31 Mark II. As used on the waterways during the Vietnam War. I have built this years quite a few years ago I would say um crikey maybe about 12 years ago I did an apocalypse now version of it uh changing all the to represent bamboo that was used in the film and the fashions you have us bits and pieces this time around I'm going to build it straight out of the box and uh let's see how we get on shall we see you in a bit Okay, take two. I started talking to you guys about a brief little history of what I'd seen and heard. Uh, press the record button. So here we go with take two. This is a one piece fiberglass hull boat. The Navy, the US Navy, were searching for a boat design that could possibly be used in shallow water and could be quickly produced and modified for the military um, so they found a civilian craft um, made a pleasure craft made by a Mojitech marine in Seattle and it had this hole that was quite fast um, so they fit it was, I don't know if they, it was already fitted with turbocharged diesel engines but the Navy then some modifications to it and it was powered by two turbocharged Detroit diesel 205 horsepower uh, V6 marine engines and uh, driving a pair of jacuzzi water trip drives on the back so in that area there um, the modifications to it are on the front end the so in in the forward position of the boat, you a twin fifty cal chain gun turret. You would call it a turret. It shield protected, basically. It wasn't a, a sealed turret. That would have been on one of the bigger patrol boats that they used. Um, on the aft boat was a single 50 cal now I've seen on some of the footage that they used to have grenade launchers sitting on top of these 50 cows and in other film footage I've seen grenade launchers fitted on the um, what do they call them uh, splinter shields on the side along with an M60 and, um, so I'm not sure if I can get or able to convert the uh, grenade launcher to sit on top of the 50 mount because it kind of looked like it, it looked pretty cool. Um, so I might just go with the standard on the splinter shield on the side. Um, what else did it is, is how, so you have the cabin over the top and that was protected with a frame and tarpaulin uh, sitting above that was a radar dome and you had your patrol lights search light uh, 25 25 30 knots something like that i think was the speed of this craft um the reason they obviously they wanted it was because of the shallow waters down that uh, down that river down that delta and it was easy because sand pans are very shallow for a craft. They wanted something that could get in up there and do searches on the sand pans. Because nine times out of ten, they were just transporting rice and food for their families and things. But on that one odd occasion or a couple of odd occasions, they'd be transporting arms and ammunition by sand pan. You know, they needed something to get in there and check all these boats. Um, I think 
on average they were doing like don't quote me on this about 1500 searches a day from morning through through the night because they had to run all night and so i quite like this boat like i said before i've done the apocalypse now version of it from the from the film and uh, i enjoyed the build then um so what i'm going to now do is uh, get on what i need to get on Clean it up slightly and get this hole into primer so i can get it prepped for paint see you in a bit okay so after all that yakking and blabbering in the, the, the like last five or ten minutes um really haven't got far but i'll show you what i've got so built the turret station we have got to fit the two machine guns to that one that deck's in, done a bit of shading, paint the hole. That hole's olive green with a red uh, bottom side. Motors on the back there. The motors. Um, um, got the upper deck done. Painted, just need some weathering. I've started doing some shadow painting in there, but I'm quite happy with the way it's looking. That may change. There we go. Um, I have got the cabin. Mostly sorted. Here, so you got your grey and your blue. Red light on. Sirens on. Got to do some digging from the past. Got to find a way, but. We've got two paint. We've got to paint the uh, life preserver. Life preserver. Life ring. Which was there. Uh, inside. Let's see if we can get this thing focused. No, it's not not really going to focus too much. Get going on behind it. But you've got a red fire extinguisher there. Um, my only thing with that red fire extinguisher, it looks absolutely massive if you take a look at the doorway that's next to it. I know these were small, um, small patrol boats, but that fire extinguisher looks massive. It looks like it's got to be at least two or three foot friggin' tall. Uh, you've got the radar. You nearly had that in focus. Right, let's see if we can get it a bit there. Look at that bloody hell camera. Yeah, so we've got the radio with uh, yellow in the background. Uh, we've got the compass. So you'll have to excuse the state of my hands. Uh, I've repaired, doing a bit of engineering repairing on Friday. The uh, mechanic can get down to fix one of our machines. So, as I know a little bit about repairing the machine, I stripped it all down and got oil and grease and shit all over my hands. It's taken like three days to get them this clean. I don't wear gloves. I never I freaking hate gloves. Um, so we've got all the control section painted up. That side, we've we've got a panel here. Uh, that's I've got to get that fitted on, uh, like so. <clears throat> that's got a couple of see the shape, a couple of M16s there. That'll be some ready at some point sitting there. Yeah. 
n. That'll do. That'll do for now. So, yeah. It's getting there. So let's move that out of the way. As you can see from here, I've got the weapons out. You've got the lone 50 cal at the back with its uh, handles. Got the M60. Uh, we've got the grenade launcher. Um, got a radio to paint. And we've got the handheld grenade. And we've drilled the end of the barrels out. Uh, another thing on in at to do in because it, it is missing. It is missing from here. There should be a radio operator's mic. Uh, roughly somewhere here is there there's your radio there's your there's your comm speaker coming in so I am with one of two ideas but this piece of what well, piece of plastic not quite focused looks a little bit like wiring to attach maybe attach in here, or a little bit of black, black wire that I could probably coil a little bit better than that. It's uh, it's a little bit, a little bit too too fat at the moment. But I could coil that and then make a small radio mic on top and get that attached in here. So just a little bit of detail. Yeah, I think it should have really been in the kit to start with. Um, the other stages that I'm at, so I've got to paint the, got to paint those bits. I need to paint the anchor and deal with that. But currently, in drying, um. I've been doing all most of these accessories. I've put that together, and I've still got to deal with the beer bottles, and the anchor. But most of those other small accessories, they're in they're in paint. I've got the four guys, four guys to paint up. In the next case, I've just like putting together, doing a bit of weathering. Uh, this is currently in paint as well. The radar's in paint. And add, attach a few of the bits and pieces, and that's sort of where where I'm at with this kit. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know it's been a while since I um, actually posted something. Build, so uh, don't do be too disappointed with what this is being posted. Uh, anyone expecting to see the uh, Churchill tank diorama? Um, the Churchill tent became wall art. I threw it up the wall, it pissed me off, so I threw it up the wall. So at some point I'll either get another one or change what I'm going to put on that diorama. Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. Um, thank you to all my subscribers, thank you to my new subscribers. I appreciate you coming aboard, I appreciate all my guys sticking around. I love you all, you're a great community. I appreciate you all. Bye for now. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.